Hi, internet junkies. I hope you don't feel like I'm spamming you today, but I have to get these videos out of the way. Just got off the phone with my dad for like, I don't know, three hours. We don't ever talk, so. Okay, so these are my, and if you can't notice my, I gotta repair my Meaning Wave monolith is broke. I don't know how it broke, I'm so mad at it. Cost me like 250 bucks, shouldn't break. All right, uh, favorite things to do in a day, right? <laughs> number four, maybe this should be number one because troll Facebook. There's a lot of reasons why I like to troll. Uh, it's to open people's minds. Um, for some reason, the ideology, when you're on Facebook, people, it seems like you just want to support your own self. So you have a constant cycle of feedback of the same people that have your same thoughts. So you guys can oh, pat each other on the back and ooh, feel good about yourself. Oh yeah, you like this, I like that too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Makes you feel good, right? It's so fucking stupid. I like to troll Facebook because it makes people be like, why is this person on, on this kind of a page when he doesn't like any of the stuff? It's because of you people. It's because I like to incept the algorithm and twist it all up. All right, that was four. Number 10. I know my favorite things to do in a day. This might sound kind of, kind of uh, counterproductive, but it's to go to sleep and dream. Uh, I'm not controlled by my dreams. I, I look for meaning in my dreams, just like for uh, my meaning in life. But um, my dreams have a special aspect to me because I often feel more real than I do when I'm awake in my waking life. I know it may seem kind of twisted or, you know, backwards, but in all sense of the forms, it is, is about as real as you can be. Because in this realm, in this plane, on the 3D plane, we only have you know, our taste, touch, you know, sight, hearing, all that stuff. I know we only think we have like five senses, but we have a lot more than that. But when you're dreaming, there's no laws of physics. Like you can do things that you can't do like here. And it's, it's really cool. It's almost like, it's almost like free drugs, but like the drugs are so much better, if that makes any sense. Six, learning something new. Learning something new is probably everything that I would probably exemplify and would make me, if it was an axiom, just absolutely learning. Um, if I don't learn something in a day, I feel like it was a wasted day. I know some people just like to wake up, uh, eat food, poop, fucking watch their shows, and they don't even watch the shows for, for anything more than just like simple entertainment to me. When I watch a show, I like let shows blow my mind. I let characters blow my mind. I can watch so many like shows where I like characters and I like the movie and I'm like, I didn't like the message or vice versa. I can watch, I can watch a movie and <laughs> not like, the, like the actors, not like, um, even the directors or the producers or how it was filmed, but I always find something and be like, but it really shared a really good message and that's important to me. So. I always look to learn something new and growing, and I think that's some sort of progress or uh, moving forward of being a better person. I already did six. Oh no. Where'd you go, Dice? It's a good thing I have dice everywhere. But I want this dice specifically. Sorry, guys. I think it's con. Sissy, help me find my dice. Aha! <laughs> Got it. They roll forever, just so you know. Seven. Listen to Akira streams. Akira the Dawn streams at like 7 in the morning on Twitch and then 7 p.m. on YouTube. And he makes music every day. Sometimes they'll go on all day long. So there's not somebody that's more connected and pushes. Okay, listen. There's about maybe three. Three artists that create their own music. 
make their own music, they write their own music, they produce, and they do everything. It's Taylor Swift, Weezer, and Akira the Dawn. I don't listen to much Weezer anymore, even though it's one of my favorite bands. But I do listen to Akira. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a mono artist, so I just stopped listening to every other music because it just doesn't do anything for me. So listening to Akira streams, look forward to it every day. Five, writing something. I love writing. I love creating. Uh, and it goes along the lines of being, uh, I don't know, I'm, I don't consider myself creative in any way, shape, or form, but it's like an exercise. It's, it helps me focus. It helps my brain operate the way I need to operate. If I just go into something and, <laughs> like putting puzzles together. Literally, I would say what's my favorite board game? Puzzles. I love putting puzzles together. Uh, I don't play any, mono, any uh, mobile games, but when it comes to it, I like to play puzzle games. I know Risk and Chess are kind of like puzzles, but um, if you download the one chess game I was talking to you about, they actually have puzzles inside them. So like, you have to like figure out how to get like, say, get a checkmate in four moves. You gotta think about it, you know, like, I just, I dig that shit up and maybe that's why, one of the reasons why I appreciate my mind so much is I can deductively like figure stuff out very, very, very fast. And um, yeah, puzzles. So writing something does the same thing, so I get to create. Cooking food. I love to cook. Again, why? Why? Because it's creative. Like you, there's, in, I don't want to say an infinite amount of flavors out there, but there's probably more flavors out there than there are sands in, in the Sahara Desert, you know? There's a lot, there's no different com combinations of stuff. And a lot of the stuff that has actually been discovered is because people were creative or by accident or something just happened to be the way it is. So uh, cooking makes me feel, I don't know, it's it's like a therapeutic like uh, treatment for the kind of person I am. Nine. It actually was ten, but I, did, I moved it down to nine because I did the ten. Um, search for opportunity to help. Somehow, some way, shape, some form, um, even if you see the same homeless person on the side of the road, maybe kick them, kick them some money one day and kick them some money the next day, or I don't know how to help people, uh, but I always look for opportunity and like this person needs help. And, but you can't take, you have to do that with a special ability to be able to read people because there's a lot of people that go out there acting needing and acting like they need help but they actually don't need help they're just trying to use you for for whatever it may be but um he always noticed that there's more homeless people between in america uh, between like october and december when people are like you know like things are hitting their heart their feels be like oh yeah it's about it's about giving and giving and giving i'll tell you about one time um this i don't want to think about homeless people but this particular time, like I was delivering pizzas for a long time uh, when I was younger and I always saw this one person on the side of the road and it was, I did deliver the same area for over six or seven years and it was uh, Egan in Minnesota. So uh, on the corner of Yankee Doodle and Pilot Knob, there would always be this homeless person. And the thing about this homeless person, I, was, I, I gave them soup. I gave them, I made like little like uh, Ziploc bags of, you know, like, uh, Things that people need, like, you know, from band-aids, something simple to like, you know, I'd throw a 20 in there or roll a quarters or you know, whatever I could help with, you know, like it was always just put stuff in there that I thought that people needed until one day I was pumping gas and they walked over to where they were parked. So this person had a car and not only did they have a car, it was like an Eddie Bauer uh, Jeep Cherokee and it was like the, the trimmed out like one with a real, I was like, I was like, I knew it, I knew it. I was like, that person dressed up in like shitty boots and shitty clothes just, just to use me. I felt so burned. And like, I almost feel like everything that I gave them, they just like threw in their trunk or like they threw in the trash on the way to their freaking nice ass Cherokee. But anyway, I'm not saying all homeless people are evil and that's just the message I'm sending. Be careful who you do help because some people do need help and some people don't need help, but um, help as much as you can. Find an opportunity to help the next person, 
even if it's something simple, like if you're at work or, um, you know, a family member, let's say they're always like short on cash. Like sometimes they're short on cash because they make really bad decisions, but you have to give them the money and then say, Hey, I want you, or you know what, take your money and then go buy the stuff like at Walmart or buy groceries and then give it to them because you know that it's not going to like drugs or uh, gambling, you know, is another one. So I got the top three coming up. I'm going to roll for it. Ooh, no, eight. One. My favorite thing to do in the entire day is just wake up. I know it seems stupid, cheesy, and cliche, but waking up and getting my first breath makes me feel so I know it's, it's being alive or being being real being uh, human like uh, you know if let's say if you had a bad dream or a weird dream and you wake up and you're just like I'm so glad what's happening to me in my dream like it's no this is this is the real this is the real me and I can be I can be Greg, I can be Razzle, I can be the Lucid Dream, you know? I can be Dark Saber, whoever I want to be. I can be all those people and, and do it so well. So waking up um, obviously is the best thing that I, my favorite thing to do in the day. And I it hits me hard because some people don't like to wake up. Some people don't like to face their life. And some people want to check out, you know? And that makes me sad. Because if I could give him like this much, let's see where's the camera? If I could give him like this much of waking up of what I feel when I wake up, it'd be like, this is the greatest day ever. I know it seems it seems corny, but it's not. It's not. Nope. Actually, that's eleven. You know, I thought I was using a ten-sided die. What's? Oh, it's twelve-sided. That's weird. Uh, 11. I'm just going to add them together and give you two because I haven't given you two yet. Seeing my wife. Probably she should be at the top, but, you know, I see her in my dreams too, so. And she talks a lot, so, like, I get a lot of opportunity to be a good listener. So, like, when I get to do my YouTube channels and stuff. Actually, that's uh, two and three. Seeing my wife and then making YouTube channels, making YouTube videos. Um, I was actually thinking about doing another channel too. Uh, because there's some other things that I want to talk about and I don't want to get my channel too dogmatic so like I think I might separate a little bit and then do something over here and then keep this what I'm doing but I feel like challenging myself and making a second channel is going to be I don't know more fun I have I'm making more time for my videos and actually like a lot it I block it out so like <laughs> you're not allowed to come in my room you're not allowed to talk to me I actually had three more videos to do but since I talked to my dad for three hours I'm going to move those back to maybe the back end of the night I don't know um, maybe when I get back I'm really hungry and I'm gonna go to Turtles uh, the restaurant in Shakopee and they have burger night and we drive like s exceptionally far away just for a burger because you can go anywhere for a burger but there's only one Turtles and um yeah, so that's um, my favorite things to do in the day. Wake up, uh, seeing my wife, make YouTube videos, troll Facebook, writing something, learning something new, listening to Cure Streams, cooking food, searching for opportunity to help somebody, and going to sleep and dream. So yeah, you guys have a good day, and um, sorry if I posted too many videos today, but these are I have to get them out of the way because I actually have more videos planned, and these ones I wanted to do, so... It's, that's one of the reasons why I don't plan my videos because my my mind, my heart, my soul, like everything changes on a day to day basis. So it's like I can't I can't sit here and say this is what I'm gonna do and I have to do it. Like and be like I can't do that video today. I just can't. So like I even tried planning. I can't do it. I can't plan anymore. So I have a lot of stuff planned. So like let's say if I'm bored and I'm like I can't think of a video to do, then I'll pull it out of the archives and boom upload it um actually i just don't have them pre-made i just yeah you know what i'm saying I, i'll just read it off the calendar and then implicate it to the perfect day so yeah it is the 25th of uh january so i hope you guys have a good remaining part of the year 
This has actually been the very first day that I've been uh, exceptionally happy, and I think that all to CBD. So, you guys have a good one, and I will see you later. Maybe I don't know. We'll see what I'm gonna see what I do. But I have some writing I want to do. I want to keep working on my uh, movie that I'm writing for um, Netflix. It's called The Last Exodus, and it's super fascinating to write. So that's one of, another one of the things. That I know I'm ram rambling, but. Uh, when people decide to do something with their life or with their time, they don't know what they want to do. And they just openly just do whatever they think that they're told to do or supposed to do or expected to do. I've never operated like that. And that's what makes me something special. And I wish that on you guys to do what you want to do and experience the things you want to experience. Don't put anything in the back burner. Don't wait for time to happen. And I'm so mad that my <laughs> my stupid monolith is broken. So, uh, yeah, I got to fix that too. So, you guys, thank you for listening. And I'll see you later maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Peace. Bye.